so, okay, let's move on to what I've actually been working on besides the meta structure of everything. First thing is coding the game. And that first week of coding uh, was very challenging. Whenever I step away from coding and come back, it's, it's really daunting because um, I, it's just not my primary skill set. And what I've, what I've learned, how to, uh, what, this is something new I've also started doing this month, is I just create a Google Doc and I say, here's my code thought process. And while I'm coding, I just write literally what my thought process is. So like if I load it up and I move the character and something breaks, then I'll just write down, this is breaking when this happens. Why is that happening? Maybe it's these things, right? Then when I go in the code, that's written down. I'm not, I'm not remembering that in my head. Like what are the things I have to check to see if that's what broke the code? So I've just started like dumping my mind onto the Google doc while I'm coding. And I, I usually don't even look at what I've written, but somehow writing it down has really like taken a big burden off of that process because it can just be so daunting. It's made it, it just allowed me to clarify like, okay, here's this micro thing I'm working on right now. It's like, there's this one bug. Here are the things I think it might be. I've checked this one. It's not that I've checked this one. It's not that. And it's just, it's simplified everything. So the first week was tough, but once I figured that system out, it's like, it's made it a lot less overwhelming and a lot less daunting to approach. Sometimes in the past, I would put off coding because it was like, I'd rather animate. Animating, I'm so happy animating. Second nature to me now that it was just very tempting to like, ah, I'll, I'll code later, you know? And so with my new system, there is none of that because I'm, I'm, I'm cycling through the different things. So it's going to be, you know, animating, coding, duh, 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 back to animating, coding, you know? So it's, I'm never stepping away from any one task long enough for it to be daunting. The actual, like what I've made progress on, it's, it's great, but it's not like a great update to like give you, but basically, you know, there, there are two components to the game. There's the adventure section, which is like a light graphic adventure style thing I'm working on. And then there's of course the action, the parkour and the action, the parkour, I already made that game awards demo. I refined the engine. It's like, I got that working. I got it to a point where I can just add moves. I can add art. It's like, I got that dialed in. And then I decided, well, I want to have a, some variety of gameplay and I wanted sections that aren't action. And so I decided, you know, I wanted it to be sort of, and, and this from the beginning, I've had this idea where it's like, I wanted to incorporate some like graphic adventure style, point and click style gameplay into a platformer. I thought that would be kind of a cool juxtaposition. And of course, I'm not going to have like really difficult puzzles or anything, because that's not the focus of the game, but just to give it more flavor and to make it feel more like a fully fleshed out cartoon. I thought that was a cool idea. Little did I know, it basically took me an entire year to program that adventure side because there were so many um, moving parts to creating the um, user interface to have the options pop up when you're over on top of an, uh, something you can interact with and then having dialogue and having you able to choose dialogue choices and having it trigger the dialogue and then having the dialogue pop up in a word balloon and have it look aesthetically pleasing, all that stuff, it took me way longer than I expected. I actually wrote a whole dialogue thing that was um, completely inefficient and it took me like three or four months to, to, to write. And I just, it's like, it taught me a lot, but I realized it's not gonna work. And I figured out a, um, I think it's JSON, um, system that was native to construct. And I just learned that and adapted my system to that. But so the, the adventure section has been daunting, but I'm nearing the completion of this, uh, first section. And so this month has been fixing bugs and getting it cl closer to a point where I can actually send it out to backers because the way I'm approaching this right now is I'm making this demo. Okay, and the demo, the point of the demo is that it's going to be a finished chunk of the game. I want you to experience what the game is going to be. And up until this point, I've been working on it in a very linear way because before I made this choice, I wasn't working in a linear way at all. And I was just kind of working on random things. And I realized it was really hard to keep track of like what progress I'm making. But then I went too linear and I didn't work on the action side of the game for over a year. 
And so that's another thing this month that I've been catching back up to is the code and the action code. And so I've this last month, what I've done basically is refined the separation of those two th- systems so that they can both coexist because their code was kind of intermixed with each other. And, and I was kind of doing patching and and basically I got the adventure section to work. But then when I went back into the action section, it was all screwed up. The camera and everything was screwed up because I had been tweaking the code for the adventure section. So I've got those systems separated this month. I fixed most of the bugs in the adventure section and the art and animations for that are also almost done. So I'm really close. I just need to finish that up, get some, get some of the sound effects done uh, from my sound guys. And um, I can send that out as like the first like little chunk of the demo. I can send that out to my backers to test. And so basically that, th- that's how I'm approaching it right now is like I have a very linear way of, of like, here's the first section of the demo and I can send that out to test. But then also I want to keep adding to the game and, and um, working on that and not and keep everything moving, you know, keep that cycle moving. Because uh, like I said, if I get too focused on the linear progression, then I won't be working on certain things for a long time. And then it gets really dusty in my mind and, and I get cobwebs about, wait, what was I doing with that? How did the code work? So I like to keep those all going. So here's the thing. So adventure section, cleaned up a lot of the code, fixed a lot of the bugs, separated the adventure and the action sections in the code. So that's, that's a lot cleaner. With the action section, I added a new a new move, basically the beginning of a new move. It's a horizontal swing from a pole. It's going to be more complex than that because the pole you're actually going to be able to swing off of, but then actually attach to, grab, move up and down. So it's the beginning of that move set. But it was a good place to start because it's similar to the like um, diagonal swing that's sort of based on Aladdin. So I could take that code and, and alter it. So I, I created a new animation for that. I coded the new move and then I went through and have been tweaking the, the um, physics of it to get it right. So that's the big stuff for the for the actual guinea pig parkour game demo. Closing in on that first scene, hopefully within a month, I can get that part done and send that out to you guys, uh, the backers. And then the action section, adding a new co- adding a new move for the first time in over a year. And so that's dusted off my um my brain and it's gonna start getting easier for me to add new moves and stuff because there's a lot more moves i want to add to the game there's it's very basic right now as far as what i've envisioned so it's all those that's like a really great start it's not like super exciting but for me it's exciting because cleaning up the code getting rid of those bugs separating the action and the adventure and then adding a new move into the action section that's like really good foundation to build from (laughs) 